Alright, so it has been one week since the launch of Black Ops 4, and so there's been a lot of Black Ops 4 content on my channel, and I'm really done apologizing for that. I mean, I'm enjoying a new Call of Duty game, I'm enjoying a shooter. This channel is built on me playing whatever shooter is pleasing me. I'm not going to force myself to play games I don't want to play to appease whatever amount of variety you think this channel should have. Now, I do think this channel should have variety, but as of right now, as long as I'm enjoying Black Ops 4 as much as I am, you're going to be seeing more videos on it. I mean, hell, over this last week I haven't played any other games except for Harvest Moon on my DS, Harvest Moon 2 on my DS, and Black Ops 4. I've been booting up Black Ops 4 subconsciously. I just, I sit down at my desk and I just turn my Xbox on without even thinking about it. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I could probably get some videos done first. And then I see the dashboard. I see the dashboard here. Just uh, move my mic out of the way. I see my, my dashboard here. And uh, there it is. It's a little overexposed for you guys, but there it is. I can just load it up. And load it up I shall, and load it up I do. I genuinely like this game. Not because it's perfect, and we're going to talk about that next, but I'm just letting you guys know I'm liking this game, and I'm not going to apologize for liking a shooter when I'm an FPS channel. I thrive on shooters that give me passion. I want to get good at this one. I'm not good at it yet. So I'm excited. Alright, so I'm going to start this video off by saying nobody cares if you don't like Call of Duty. Okay? It's not a big deal. I don't really like every Call of Duty, and there are some Call of Duties that I stopped playing before the second Prestige, and that would be uh, COD World War II. And there's some Call of Duties I don't get to max Prestige, and that would be Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. And there's some Call of Duties that I get to max Prestige in, and I still hate it by the end of the life cycle, which would be Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. But I love a lot of things about each one of those games, and I have a lot of things that I don't like about each one of those games, and here with Black Ops 4, I'm really loving it, more so than I did uh, with Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 and COD World War 2 and Modern Warfare Remastered. Not because I don't like those games, but currently, after one week, I was so blown away by the fact that it was one week. It didn't feel like the game has already been out for months and months and months. This game feels like I'm constantly on launch night. Something about this game and trying to learn it is really clicking with my brain right now. Now, I know if you're a B. Dobbins fan, you might think that Tetris has more gameplay depth than Call of Duty. And you might say COD with a little bit of disdain in your voice, and, and that's fine. You know, maybe you're like that 404 Thunder guy, and you know, whatever. I don't know. COD is just doomed and it's dying. I don't fucking care. I wish COD games had two-year life cycles, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to enjoy them when they come out, and I'm really digging this one. But it has a metric butt-ton of problems now. While I was trying to make this video, I was all set up to do it, and then uh, Windows Defender got in the way of OBS, and then I accidentally powered off my computer while installing a graphics driver. I'm retarded. So the game has now been out for seven days, one hour for me, and I am Prestige 1, level 30, so I'm more than halfway to second Prestige. Not in term, terms of XP, but in terms of levels, I'm more than halfway. So what are my problems with the game, and what do I love about the game? I will first just tell you what I love. It's different. I, I was wrong about this game. I'm not gonna make a big, I was wrong about Black Ops 4 video as much as I love that revenue. I am not gonna do it. I'm just gonna tell you guys here, this isn't Overwatch, this isn't Rainbow Six Siege. It's its own thing. Uh, the comparisons between Overwatch and, and Rainbow Six Siege start and stop with you have to pick a character that has a set of abilities and there's barbed wire. Really though, it's Call of Duty through and through with a lot of interesting changes and that's what I love about a good Call of Duty game. It feels like COD, it plays like COD, it gives me the reasons that I play COD. But there's just enough difference in between each title that keeps it interesting. That's what bummed me out about COD World War II. It was such a milk toast, no risks Call of Duty. I, I just was bored. At least Infinite Warfare took risks. Modern Warfare Remastered was nostalgic, and Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare were kind of innovative at the time. This game honestly is more of a build off of Black Ops 3 than any other shooter franchise. Let's not forget that Black Ops 3 came out in 2015. That's the same year as Rainbow Six Siege, and it's a year before 
Overwatch. Well, it's about six months before Overwatch, but who's counting? And honestly, in my opinion, this is just a better Black Ops 3. It's Black Ops 3 if Black Ops 3 had some interesting maps. It's Black Ops 3 if Black Ops 3 had an interesting meta. It's Black Ops 3 if Black Ops 3 had rewarding, satisfying gunplay and smarter combat. And when you say smarter combat in a Call of Duty game, a lot of purists of, like, skilled FPS games cringe, but it's it's more smart than other Call of Duty games. Calm down, I'm not comparing it to the likes of Halo 2 or Counter-Strike. Go. Whatever. So, that's what I like about it, is it's just, it's a better Black Ops 3. I like the maps, I like the weapons, I like learning about it, I like grinding. It's an interesting game, it actually plays interestingly, and I love the control game mode, and it's really satisfying to try to get better at. I don't know, but what I don't like about it, it's way more interesting, and a big problem is the spawn areas. Sometimes they're so big and vast, you get spawn peak, you literally spawn into people's bullets. Also, depending on what game mode you're playing, and where the moon is, and how wide your mouth is open, the spawns will be too sticky, or too flippy. Now, for the control game mode, I like that the spawns are pretty much 100% static, other than a couple of variations. I mean, they're gonna be spawning on one side of the map. The enemy team will be spawning on one side of the map at all times. They're never gonna spawn mid, or flip spawns. But the reason I like this is because that's the whole point of control, and control has limited lives. So if you're stupid and you're getting yourself killed trying to spawn trap, you're costing your team precious lives. So I really don't mind the static spawns. It's about map control, and I like that it's about map control, and I like that it's a Call of Duty game mode without fucking gymnastic level spawns that just want to do backflips every time you glance over at the enemy's side of the map. So spawn areas and spawns are a little bit messy, flippy, or too sticky depending on the game mode for sure, I'll definitely say that. Also there's a weird thing where the specialist equipment doesn't have to be equipped, so you can have really powerful things, really useful things like the spawn beacon, or the reactor core, or the cluster grenade, or the nine bang, or the mesh mine, and you don't even have to put it on your class. And these are really powerful pieces of equipment that you just get for free, and then they charge incredibly fast. I don't get that. Like, I, I, I get wanting to have the assault pack and the spawn beacon, and I get the mesh mines, okay, whatever, I can live with it, I can run engineer, I can, I can put up with this. What I, what I can't put up with, what I cannot, what I refuse to put up with, is that I have to use a perk point to equip a simple frag or concussion, but not to just play as Ajax and get his 9-bang or battery to get the cluster grenade. I don't have to spend anything. It'll take one of my perk points to equip a combat axe, but not to equip reactive core, and that doesn't make a lick of sense. So, I want these abilities that the specialists get to charge a lot slower, and I want them to cost you a perk point. I think you should have to remove the cluster grenade or the reactor core to get an extra attachment or perk or piece of gear or a secondary. I think that makes more sense. Uh, and I want there to be a much faster charge time on things like frag grenades, concussions, and combat axes, or just have them, like, instantly refill on respawn. If you think that's a problem, I'm basically describing how Call of Duty has worked in every pick 10 iteration, so, I don't know, I didn't think Black Ops 2 or COD Ghost or Black Ops 3 or Infinite Warfare had a frag grenade problem even though you could use a perk point to put a frag grenade on and you had one every life. In fact, it's almost more jank that I could get a kill with a frag grenade and then stay alive until I get another frag grenade and then use it again in that same life. Maybe that's more jank and I don't know, you'll have to think about that for yourself. I think they had it right before. Any piece of equipment that you put towards your character should cost a point. Even in Black Ops 3, a game where I think the specialists were way less fleshed out, those specialists, you had to choose between their ability or their weapon. Whereas in here, you get an ability and a weapon just for picking the specialist, and you don't have to do anything else. I would rather go up against a firebreak that has used the point that he would put towards his reactor core, put that point back into an attachment, or into a frag grenade. I'd rather him have a frag grenade every life that I could counter directly with, I don't know, a, a fucking flak jacket, or have a concussion I can counter with tack mask, compared to his reactor core, which is much more difficult to counter and has a lot more killing potential. Am I crazy? I might, I don't think I'm crazy for saying the reactor core is just infinitely better than like a throwable grenade. And that goes for a lot of the other abilities as well, especially the seeker drone or the mesh mines. They are just there to annoy your opponents. 
Speaking of annoying, a lot of specialist weapons and stuff in this game are just annoying to go up against. Some of them require aim, precision, accuracy, timing, and other ones are just, oh, I'm going to call in my dog and it's going to kill you too bad. Or I have a purifier, I get to hold right trigger and kill your whole team. I don't know, there's just a lot of lack of balance when it comes to the specialists. It doesn't make sense why I would take up a create a class slot to equip a frag grenade when I could just have a much better specialist ability. And I don't know why I wouldn't use something like the attack dog if I wasn't doing well because if I'm not doing well the attack dog can get me some kills and I don't even have to really try for it. I think the charge rates should be tweaked. I think they should cost points and I think that some of them just didn't need to be they just need to be nerfed. I think the seeker drone should be a lot louder and give you a lot more leeway uh, when it comes to disconnecting it and I also think the attack dog needs less health yada yada yada. Uh, I do think the game would play a lot better if armor and stem shot were gone. Honestly, I don't think anyone can really disagree with me. I'm not saying like armor and stem shot are ruining the game or it's overpowered. I'm not saying that at all. People constantly have this misconception that if you're complaining about armor and stem shot that you think that it's overpowered. I don't think it's overpowered. I think stem shot's a bit of a crutch and I think armor is a bit of an annoyance, but nothing game breaking. But I don't think you can argue with me when I say everybody should heal at the same speed. Everybody should have the same amount of health. An ICR should not be able to kill you faster or slower depending on whether or not you have armor and the weapon has FMJ. This game is really about being accurate and going for headshots and not pushing up too far and playing a bit smarter. I like that. And then like armor and stem shot just kind of feel like we're going to toss a little bit of inconsistency into the mix and I would rather just be consistent. Just build in the stem shot healing speed like into everything. Like give everybody that healing speed, remove body armor or completely change the way it works. Maybe have it only protect you from score streak weapons and maybe just make it so the stem shot removes status effects like burning because it's really annoying to get caught on fire, survive the gunfight somehow and then like not be able to heal for like 10 seconds. So maybe stem shot would remove status effects like that. Also it really bothers me that I have the world's most powerful gaming console and there's no FOV slider. I'm sorry, uh, Battlefield 1 had an FOV slider, Doom had an FOV slider, Battlefront has an FOV slider on the original Xbox One and it works just fine. And I know the Call of Duty engine has an FOV slider because I've played the PC version of Black Ops 3 and my favorite part was that FOV slider. I don't like a crazy high FOV, I just like it above 65, above 70, somewhere around 75 to 80. It's really frustrating because I know the original Xbox One and PS4 can handle the FOV sliders in games like Doom or Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5. I don't know how Call of Duty expects me to not want it in in Call of Duty, like I don't I don't get that. I want to be able to change my FOV on console. It's not that big a deal. It's not giving me a crazy advantage. In fact, it can really screw up your aim if you're not used to it. I think a lot of people aren't going to like it. And if you if you didn't want that kind of stuff in your game, creating an imbalance, then you should put something into your game that removes the use of scuff controllers and elite controllers because that is a way bigger imbalance. Let me change my FOV and moving on, the LMGs and marksman rifles need tweaks. The marksman rifles feel really powerful or kind of inconsistent and the LMGs are just melt machines. They're just long distance or close range, whatever, 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 melt machines and I'm sick of them. Please, please, please remove the melt machines that are the LMGs. I don't mean like remove the LMGs, but just nerf them is what I'm saying. Nerf. The LMGs don't don't come to me with buff everything else okay because to buff an assault rifle to be able to compete with those LMGs would be asinine these LMGs are low recoil consistent four shot kill weapons that have way too much mobility I want more recoil I want slower handling I want slower reloads I want slower movement if you want them to hit hard fine but you cannot have high accuracy, high damage, high ammo capacity LMGs in a game like Black Ops 4 and not have problems. I think the specialist abilities and weapons can be really annoying, but it's more annoying to get melted by the Augur DMR or the Titan LMG across the map because they saw 
a little bit of my waist go around a corner and I'm just gone. It's incredible and I'm just gonna keep over exaggerating so I'm gonna move on. And I actually have nothing to move on to. Psych bitches, I have nothing else to talk about. I'm loving the game and those are my problems with it, those, that's why I'm liking it. It's a messy video, I know, but one week later I'm loving this game and it still feels like launch night. I am so excited for double XP tomorrow. If you're not digging it, fine, but don't come here to try to bring people down for it. I see some people just sharing their opinion, that's fine. But some people come in and try to shit on my fans for liking a game I'm playing or shit on me for liking a game that I'm liking and I'm not gonna put up with it. I, I At least I'm not gonna like it, I guess I, I'll put up with it. I don't know, just it's pointless. I'll see you when I see you guys, goodbye.